folks, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to calculate the sales for the last seven days. Um, so basically, this is part of a test we're going to put the selection of China and we're going to select, so you can see here's all the days where China got sales and you can see on the total of November and the 29th of October two sales. So here's the days we got sales. So we know that the number we're looking for is 97. What we'll do is we'll create a new straight table. Just take the functions as I mentioned and we'll choose two sales. So that's it for 978. Now if we clear our selection we can notice that uh, it will actually give us the sales for all of the products. And then what we're going to do using the 978 as our guide, we're going to calculate sales for China for the last seven days. So we're going to say total is China. We can click OK. So now we're getting our total sales uh, for China for Q1 financial year sales for the last seven days. So what we can say is 8.8. For example, if we just put in the monthly unit, GDP, click OK, and if we hover over the expression that contains no label, you can see it's actually picking up date because it's over 11, and then 667, if we scroll down here, it corresponds to China. See on the tour there's the 11.667, but we don't want that, we want it for the last seven days. So if we would remove that and in place of that, we put in double quotes within our double quotes, we would say we would use our dollar sign expansion. So we'd say dollar open parentheses equals and we'd say max eight. So before that, what we want to do is we want to say when it's less than or equal to the max 8 and it's hold on less than or equal to the max 8 and greater than or equal dollar sign expansion open parentheses equal Now if we click OK and click OK again, we've got the correct number 978, so we've done that correctly. If we scroll down, we can see in the last seven days, total of 11, 28 for China. So we know that's correct. The problem is, is when we hover over it, it's actually just giving us a date, the, the number of the date rather than the format of the date. So if we can change that, then that makes it easier to see if there's a problem. So we would say And if I just click OK and hover over, you can see now we've got the tour of the 11th. And again, we would do the same for the second part. So now if we click OK, you can see that we're getting the sales that are less than or equal to our max date. And greater than or equal to our max date of minus seven to give us the last um, seven days. In fact, that probably should be six minus six. So we can see we've got the 28th, 29th, the 30th, the 24th, which is four days, and the first, second, third of November. So that gives us the sales for the last seven days. If we want average sales, just change our expression again because we've only got sales in two days our average sales is going to be half of 978 so to get the average sales we can just move in the sum and then divide that by seven and then that will give us our average sales we can just format that then Oh, 
this so I'm going to get rid of it. Click OK. OK again. You can see the other sales in China. Yes. And the last seven days have been one of the two hundred and fifty seven. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that helps. I will be doing more videos on this type of stuff uh, going forward. Um, apologies for not posting on the videos that I took a month to get busy with books. I hope that helps. I'll see you next week. Cheers.